The forthcoming Lalit cell features 66 different vases. Vases formed one of the core elements of Lalit's creative output. There's many of the key favourites that people readily identify as being the work of René Lalique in the sale. So let's now just focus on three in particular. This is the Grand Ball Lear vase designed in 1912. It's one of the earliest vases that Lalique designed. And as you can see, it's one of the largest he also created. To me, this globe vase is both architectural and mystical. It has a commanding presence, which is difficult to grasp from a catalogue photograph, but it also feels as if the glass has been blown like a balloon and could be popped with a pin. The decorative features are sparse and add to a sense of drama and a feeling of timelessness. Ivy is an evergreen climber that was worn by Bacchus in mythology, as well as a victor's crown for the winners of athletic and poetry competitions in the ancient worlds of Greece and Rome. It's also traditionally a symbol of fidelity. This is the Bacchantz vase designed in 1927. It's one of Lalique's most iconic vases, decorated with a frieze of naked ladies or priestesses of Bacchus. It's a timeless piece. In form, it's sculptural with figures molded in high relief. It's a large and weighty vessel and one reminiscent of classical vases. Think of Hellenistic vases with friezes of figures in black or terracotta. The naked women are highly sensual too, as they pose and interact with one another. I have handled many Bacchantz vases during my career, and this is one of the finest examples I've seen. The depth of opalescence is quite magnificent. Whilst classified as a René Lalique vase, this Nanking vase was actually designed by his daughter Suzanne in 1925. It's sometimes known as facets triangulaire, or triangular facets in English. In ancient Egypt, the triangle was considered to represent a man's soul, composed of three elements, will, intelligence and love. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922 by Howard Carter's team was widely publicised and we can see its impact on Art Deco designs. It was in 1925, just three years later, that Suzanne designed this vase. This was the year of the Exposition des Arts Décoratifs in Paris that led to the coining of the term Art Deco. The Lalique sale will take place on the 27th of April in the Mal Galleries in London.